Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back with another spread in my mini happy planner dashboard layout. And this week I'm actually going to be doing kind of a red and black spread to commemorate Remembrance Day, which is on Monday. And I'm going to use some florals from the Happy Year sticker book. Now, there isn't necessarily a set of stickers here for Remembrance Day or vet Veterans Day, if you what you guys call it in uh, the U.S. But I'm going to make a spread with a mix of the red and black and go from there. All right. Oh, let's not knock things down. All right, let's get started. So this week I'm doing something a little bit different than I'm normally doing. I'm using more than one sticker book. I know. Crazy. So what I first want to do is I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to cover this up with just like a black sticker. Like I like this sticker because it's, oh, and it's not even big enough to cover the whole thing. It, um, whoa, I'd have to really wipe that out. Yeah, that totally wouldn't work. I wanted, I liked the black in this. I really liked the black in this and I wanted to use it, but now looking at the size of it, I don't know if I could without whiting out this whole box here. Hmm, need to rethink. Hmm, let's see, maybe instead, have all my sticker books on this side here. Use the journaling sticker book and oops, cover it up with one of these boxes. But first, let's white out the edges and place this box down. That seems to be the, the norm for me, is to place this box down and then do some other form of decoration in there. Then I'll also white down, white down, white out this bottom part here. Okay, so I've done that part there. And I think I'm going to go back into the sticker book here and see what I can find for the poppies. See, this is gorgeous and I've already counted. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to make those seven work somehow. So, let's see, even if I put this one here, that one's really cute and dainty, fits perfectly. Then I want to put a little one here and put just a little. Oh, these ones are cute. I didn't see these. Oh, I'm getting white out everywhere, guys. I'm placing another one. Or is one should be fine. Let's do one for now. Then I'm deciding whether I should just fill in this whole box and then use this for dinners. I think I might do that because I really liked the look of that last week. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually white out the line in the middle. If my white out will cooperate. And I've done this in a spread before where I used the middle as like a huge mural and I loved it. One big floral right in the middle. Pretty. Then a few of these little florals around. Obviously I don't want to use them all because I still need some for the other side. So let's mix it up a bit here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How do you lie down without making sure they're not tight? Ah! I feel like there should be a bloopers reel. You know how like lots of videos have bloopers reels, but then it's not a bloopers reel if it's basically in real time with the spread. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna keep it that way. But then I had a different sticker book I pulled out. The happy quotes. So I wanted to kind of put a quote going across and I wanted the black, I think, but I don't think this was the book that had the black. 
No. Did that have red? Kind of, but not really. So this book won't work. I'm pulling out the Joanne sticker book now because there were, and this book is falling apart on me. Let's see, there were these. So some are black. I want one that says like be grateful or remember, something like that. And I think happy, be happy. Um, that might be the closest thing I can get. Just think happy, be happy. And put it right in the middle. I mean, it's not right in the middle. I very much enjoy that. Okay. So now, again, that was from the Joanne sticker book. Oh, I'm gonna have a big pile of sticker books on the floor here. Now, I do kind of want to decorate this, but at the same time, I don't want it to go super crazy. And I really did want to use this, but now I know I'm gonna need it. I mean, how cool would that look? But, nope. There it is, grateful. This is the coordinated sheet sticker book, so the 1050, one of the original sticker books from the Happy Planner. And, okay, I'm not gonna use this one. Instead, I think there was a red one. I like this sticker book because it, I'm just gonna use this, remember, because of the way that it can coordinate, that's why it's called coordinated sheets, the way that you can coordinate all these different styles. Like, oh, I like that. The red and the black together. It's like I planned it that way. And another remember sticker. Plan ahead is a good one. Let's see. And there's different stickers in here that are both red and black. So that works. I think I'm gonna have to plan ahead. There was a top priority. And that will go here for my workouts. I really like the look of that. Now, I'm gonna go back into this sticker book here, checking if I'm still filming. Where are those florals? Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna use a teeny tiny one. Let's go to this side. I love it. I know the blue doesn't match necessarily, but I love the way that that looks. Simple, yet cute. Now, moving to the dated portion. Here. And where are my date covers? So I found my date covers. They are the silver foil date covers from Sweet Plan Designs. And I'm having a hard time actually finding these, so I don't know if I'll even have enough for the rest of the year, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them down. There we go. And you notice I'm putting all the date, cor date covers along the side. To me, it just looks better when it's all lined up like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and actually start filling this in. I'm gonna cover this part up here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to, I guess, cover that portion. I have an idea, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it work. Give me a second. 
thinking of possibly putting it across like this and then slicing it. So I've cut it across and I feel like it might be too thick. Definitely is, but it is cute. I like it there. So to make this easier on myself, turn it around, lay it down this way. Use my exacto knife to cut off the edge. Oh, see, I'm still able to use that pattern, and it's still super cute. Okay, where's the lid? Now I'm gonna bring out my colorful boxes sticker book. See how much of these black stickers I do have left. Probably not many. Like, I have no quarter boxes left. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take the coordinated sticker sheets book and use some of the headings from the red and black sections. I may not be able to find everything, but I think it should work. So, maybe get this done. Sticker right here although we are off that day. It'll still be nice to get some stuff done. Then Henry has sport ball that morning, so there is an important event, so it can't just be, I need to don't forget, because there's the sport ball that is happening that day, so I'll put the don't forget, lift it up a little higher. and then make my list under here. So there'll be enough, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there'll be enough for Henry's sport ball. Then Wednesday, I'm like, what day of the week is it? Wednesday. I already put don't forget. So I'm gonna put down the plan. So I'm gonna alternate between black and red. Then Thursday the 14th, loving this. Then Friday I've got a haircut, which I'm very excited for. It's been over a year since I've had a haircut. I know. And important. I love being able to use one of my older sticker books or one of the original sticker books. There's something satisfying with being able to use everything. <laughs> I like the look of that. Then Saturday will be another red one. And I don't know if I have any more solid red ones. Whoops, maybe, no, it's not red, that's like pink. No, it's just, ah, there we go, goals. I like it. And then lastly for Sunday, just need a black label for that day. I'm gonna use this plan on it sticker. I like that. And I don't do this very often, but I think I'm gonna go and bring in my Papermate flare pen as well as my, I say regular pen, but my Uniball, my lovely, lovely Uniball pen, and do checklists down the side. So I'll do that now. So I'm just going freehand in here with my Uniball pen and my Papermate flare pen. The red squares are for any to-do lists and then I do those uh, those squiggly arrows for any important events that I have to remember. So those are the two ways that I am using my pens to be able to differentiate differentiate between to-dos as well as events. And I really like the way that this came out with this color scheme. All right, I really like the look of that. It's red and black. It, however, this side still feels too functional, so I want to go ahead and add the florals. 
if I can peel them up. Move this over a bit. Like where do you place this one big floral? Or maybe I just use the teeny ones around. There we go. I feel like this big one could be put down here. But I feel like the last time I did that, I kind of cut off a few things and I didn't necessarily want to do that. And now with those checklists there, it's probably gonna bug me, so I'm gonna wipe them out. So that I can put this floral here. And cut off the bottom. Oh, that's cute then rewrite my checklists. Much better. Then I have two more little florals that I'm definitely going to use. I feel like it's, it, I want it to kind of look like it's raining poppies. And thank you to uh, the fellow planner babe who told me that there were poppies in the Happy Year sticker book because that is what I have used this whole spread and I've used all of them in the Happy Year sticker book. So really, really happy with the red and black. Oh, so happy. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.